What if I told you you can download something called Local WP, what we're looking at on the screen right now, and build your WordPress site locally on your computer, and then you can migrate it over using a plugin, or you can even push it to a live environment. So that is exactly what Local WP is. You can build your WordPress site on your computer, and then when you are ready for it to go live, you can copy that website and just transfer it over to a hosting account. Um, please see our other video about migrating WordPress sites so you can see what that looks like. Um, but I just wanna walk through what it looks like to uh, get into local uh, WP. So local WP is made by the creators of Flywheel. Flywheel is a hosting company. I love Flywheel. They have uh, great support, uh, fast hosting, all that great stuff. So this is one of their products and it's actually a free product. They do have it where you can get a few more features if you want to subscribe to a plan. Um, but for most people like myself, the free plan works just fine. So if you see right here where it says download for free, you can download local to your computer. Um, and just depending on if you have a Mac, Windows, Linux, um, those are the three most common systems that's out there, then you can uh, download Flywheel or sorry, local by uh, Flywheel. So once you download it, I want to give you an idea of what it looks like. So I'm going to change over to that screen. Okay, so here we are. So local, I already have it downloaded on my computer. And this is what it looks like. So these are all the websites that I have in my Flywheel local account. What I love about it the most is that I can actually clone or duplicate any site that's already in here. And it would just spin up a brand new site for me. Um, or if I want to create a new site altogether, I just click on this plus sign at the very bottom of the screen and I would type in the name of the website. So let's just say, um, I'm gonna call this test example. And you can look at the advanced options. So this is gonna be the domain for the website. And remember this is a local install, so it's not live on the internet. It's only available to you for you to work on. Um, so that's just wanna make sure that's clear out there. Hey, and ask you want to use a blueprint. So if you are building a lot of different websites and um, you want to like kind of start from a starting point, you can save blueprints and you can start from a blueprint right here. I have a Divi site blueprint. This is a site that already has all the, already has Divi installed, all the plugins I want, but I'm not using a blueprint. I'm just going to go straight for a brand new site. So I'm going to click on continue. All right, and so usually the environment that you want for your WordPress site preferred, unless you're very technical and you want to change things up a little bit. Uh, but for me, the preferred version, which is PHP 7.41, is perfectly fine. Um, and let me just go ahead and click on continue and keep going. All right, so now you're gonna set up a username and a password for this website. So I'm gonna set up something easy. Like I said, it's a local install. I don't have to worry about people trying to hack this site because it's only on my computer. So I'm just gonna name it after myself and give it a very easy password for me. Now, if you do take this site online, be sure you change your password. Um, you definitely don't want um, people being able to hack into your site because you have an easy password. Um, another option, you can make this a multi-site if you have that, um, if you want to do that, but I do not, so I'm gonna keep that as no. I'm gonna click on add site. All right, and so right now it's going through the process of spinning up this new site. Okay, and before this site is complete, it's going to ask me to um, put in my computer's password is to make sure it has permission to make these changes on my local computer. And so it is now adding the website. All right, and so as you can see, the site has now been created, the test example site. Um, you can just see all the different things here. Um, so what we wanna do now is we wanna make sure the site is started. So when it says stop site, that means the site is, it's going, it's live, and that we can actively go to the site on our computers. So when I click on WP Admin, it's going to um, take me to another browser window. I think I opened that too by mistake. So. Now I'm gonna log in using the password that I created for this website. And just like that, we are in, like I said, this is a local install, so I can go in and install all the plugins I want, everything else. And once I'm ready to move this site, I can install something like all-in-one WP migration. I copy this site and move it to a live website host. 
Now, if you are done with this site and you want to close it out, remember this site is going to be saved to your computer. So just so you can close it out, I'm just going to click on stop site. Once the stop site is stopped, I will not be able to access it anymore. It's going to give you an error page because it's not, um, it's not live at that point. But everything is still saved. That's the good part about it. Everything is still saved. So if I go back here and I want to start site, it will allow me to bring up everything. Everything is saved to your computer. Um, and that is it. That is how you create a local site with local by Flywheel. Hope this was helpful for you. And thanks for watching this tutorial.